Mad doctors to shapeshifters, bloodthirsty fiends to toxic avengers. We're here at the Queensland Gallery of Modern Art celebrating monsters on film. But tonight, we here at Geekspeak only have one monster on the brain. Zombies. If you've got a plan, what's your number one rule for surviving a zombie apocalypse? Get out of the city. I like that. I like that. You don't want to be too crowded. How do you get out of the city? Uh, horses or bikes. So you don't run out of fuel. Yeah. She's the one who's done all the thinking. Like, she's got... Yeah, she's super organised. Super organised. So you're just leaving it all to her. You are in her hands. Yeah, yeah. What's your weapon of choice? Sword. Definitely. Actually, bow and arrow, to, like, for me. But sword just makes sense. I really like the axe. It's really cool, so that's a quick whack of your head. you really got to get rid of the head if you turn to a zombie. Big two-handled axe, or are we talking like a little tomahawk? No, a big, massive one. One that when I, when I kind of walk, I can drag as I'm doing it. <laughs> what about your weapon of choice? What's yours? Just Raider Bunnings. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've done that. We looked. You've already raided the Bunnings. That's how you... Right. We've, we've thought about it. <laughs> you know, Don't let Bunnings know. Uh, I actually have a machete in my bag right now, just in case anyone gets infected. You know, you, you can't wait on these things. You need to take action very quickly, otherwise the virus spreads and everyone's doomed. There's a machete in your bag. Yes? We won't tell the code check, it's okay. <laughs> do you have a zombie apocalypse plan? You know, it's a bit of survival guide. Uh, I do have a little bit of a plan, yes. A, a little bit? How little is little? Uh, we may have bought some survival books and we may have a map <laughs> but that's all do you have a bunker <laughs> no no bunker she's on the lookout for one i'm pretty sure of that yeah, she's on the lookout for a bunker it wouldn't surprise me just build one in your backyard just get a titan shed kit it out all right just when i thought i had escaped the zombies matt from brisbane zombie walk has tracked me down he's he's starting to turn i don't like the look of those scabs so we'd better get this in quick Matt, how are you, man? Yeah, really good tonight, thank you. You're actually from Brisbane Zombie Walk. That is why we're here. We're here celebrating monsters on film. But tonight, Night of the Living Dead, Zombie slash Zombie 2, however you want to pronounce the title. But it's a bit of a fundraising event tonight, isn't it, for the Zombie Walk? Yes, that's correct. Um, all the, the money that we raise from tonight and other associated events throughout the year, um, Brisbane Zombie Walk, go towards the Brain Foundation. Now, as I recall, this year's Brisbane Zombie Walk, I believe, is Sunday the 6th of October? That's correct, yeah, Sunday the 6th of October. So we'll start, we'll, we'll start at 10 o'clock in the morning yep. and um, people can come down, get their makeup done. We'll have makeup artists down there and, and professional people uh, making them zombied. And, uh, and then from there, the day carries on to about 10, 10 o'clock at night. So the music starts later in the afternoon and the walk's usually typically around 3 o'clock. Okay, and so you're saying come down, get your makeup done. Where do you have to come? Uh, we're at the RNA Showgrounds this year. We've locked that venue away, so very exciting. Okay, and is this something that I can just rock up, rock up to on the day, or do I need to pre-buy a ticket? One of the stipulations is you've got to be zombified in some way, whether it be blood or other. Um, but look, if you want to partake in the walk itself, yep. Um, we just ask for a donation. You can certainly pre-buy pre tickets um, online. Um, go to Brisbane Zombie Walk page and purchase the tickets there. Last question before I leave you to your zombie glory. You're already turning. You, you, you're going to go full zombie on me in a moment. I need to start running, don't I? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Get along to Brisbane Zombie Walk, Sunday 6th of October at RNA Showgrounds. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. I've managed to get away from the zombies for just a moment to talk to Ghoulish Jake and Dr. Spooky. Guys, how are we? Good, thank Very you. How welcome. are you? I'm, yeah, I'm a, feeling a little under the weather, feeling a little feverish. Is that a good sign? Have you been bitten by anything lately? Maybe a hobo. Jake did take a snap out of my ankle about five minutes ago, so what are my chances? I'm sorry, I do that. I just You get too nervous, I just want to bite into people. <laughs> now, okay, well, you're here for zombies. Uh, you guys, now, you're from 4 Z, and you do the show Beyond the Graveyard. Yeah, that's right. 
and you know tell the tell the geek speakers what exactly is beyond the graveyard on it's Brisbane's for Triple Z, isn't yep. it? Yeah, it's community radio and uh, our shows on Wednesday nights, 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. And it's all things horror. So we do horror movie reviews, uh, talk all things horror, um, play horror influenced music, and um, yeah, it's a really cool um, show and it's quite unique and um, yeah, celebrating horror. It's fantastic. That's why we love this monsters exhibition. Oh, I love it. Like, we're here celebrating geeks, you're cel- celebrating horror. Really, we're all one and the same. Like, you guys are just horror geeks. Yeah, absolutely. And there's there's a lot of crossover, you know, um, especially these days with zombies in particular. That's really kind of blown up in, in geekdom. Like, I mean, there's, uh, there's like, zombie toys and, and uh, all kinds of stuff Plenty everywhere. Of like, it's there's a real crossover. Like, a lot of geeks who I know who aren't even into horror necessarily, they've kind of jumped on the zombie bag, uh, bandwagon. And it's really, it's really quite fun. There definitely is a surge with zombies. It's like with vampires. Unfortunately, we've got the solar-powered disco balls of Twilight to thank for that. One of the reasons we're actually here is for Brisbane Zombie Walk because they are fundraising tonight. They are raising money for the Brain Foundation. You guys going to get along to Brisbane Zombie Walk this year for Ford Triple Z? Yep, definitely. We will Absolutely. be there, um, be on the graveyard themed and really excited and pumping full of blood, definitely. Gonna scare a uh, scare a few Brisbaneites as you walk the streets. I do every year. Actually, I'm always a little bit disappointed. So many people at the zombie walk, they're just walking along. You know, come on, you got to do it properly, guys. You got to shuffle. You got to shuffle and moan and and act the part. You can't just walk along. Just Which brings me to my last question: If you were a zombie, what type of zombie would you be? I would hope that I would be a fast zombie because they are absolutely terrifying. Uh, a radio announcer zombie would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Spread a bit of propaganda. <laughs> yep, definitely, definitely. Have the mic there, ready to get all sorts of things happening, and um, yeah, pretty much have good conversations. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us, Ghoulish Jake and Doctor Spooky of Beyond the Graveyard on Four Triple Z. If you've loved this episode of Geek Speak, be sure to hit subscribe, check us out on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter at Geek Speak AU.